Hello everyone, today I've designed a bright LED light. Everything on this, except for the electric components, are 3D printed. I found that PTG works perfect to resist the heat from the LEDs. I even used clear filament to print a light cover and found that it diffuses the light nicely. The 3D model will be available at Thingiverse and I will leave the link down in the description below. I even made it so it's able to mount on a tripod easily. On this model I also included an area where an on and off button can go. And then on the bottom I included 12 volt input. In this video I will go over the design, the parts and tools, the build, and at the end of the video, I will go over the results with and without the light cover. So let's go ahead and get started with the design. All right, so here I have the design. This is the LED faceplate. This is the body where all the components will go into. And then over here, I have the mount. This is like your standard GoPro mount. You can mount it to a tripod. Over here I have the filter, or the diffuser I should say. The design will be available at Thingiverse where you can use your own AutoCAD and customize it if you will. Alright, let's go ahead and get started with parts and tools. So you will need a 3D printer, the faceplate, the body where the components will go into, the mount, the diffuser printed in clear filament. And you will need PTG for the higher temperatures the LEDs produce. Five meters of bright white LEDs on a strand. 2.1 by 5.5 millimeter DC power pigtail female connector. Extra 20 gauge wire. On off type latching button. 20 gauge solid core wire, super glue, 3 millimeter screws, screwdriver, hot glue gun, at least a 12 volt 4 amp power supply, wire cutters, soldering iron, and scissors. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to grab our face plate and a strand of LED lights. We're gonna go ahead and size it and see how many LED lights we can fit in a row. All right, so we have to count by three. So three, six, nine, and 12. So we can fit 12 LED lights in one strand on this face plate. Now we're going to go ahead and make a cut in the center of that copper. There's actually a line with scissors on it that show you where to cut. Go ahead and make that cut. Make sure it fits. It looks like it's going to be perfect. And make sure that the bottom are where these two big holes are. That's where your wire is going to go into the body. Go ahead and peel the backing. Now this adhesive isn't the best adhesive, so what I found was put three dots of super glue, one on the ends and one in the center, and I find that it holds really well. Go ahead and make sure it's as straight as possible, and how I have it is negative up. So all your strands of LEDs need to be where the negative sign is up. Make sure you press firmly against the LED lights and the plastic. Make sure that it will not come off. Let the super glue dry. All right, so halfway done. Negative signs all up. All right, here's what it looks like fully done. It does take a while to do this. So now I'm going to take my solid core wire and I'm going to strip it. Originally, I was going to cut each individual 
solid core wire and solder it like this, negative to negative. However, I have found that this might be an easier way doing one long strand and just bending the wire to each negative sign. Now you're going to do one side all negative and one side positive. Now I use hot glue on this left side and I'm going to hot glue all the positive. I'm doing this so that way for one I don't solder the wrong connectors on the wrong side and I also do it just in case the wire touches positive it doesn't short out. So I'll just a little dab of hot glue on all the positives just like so for this left side. Next I'm going to grab my soldering iron. On this side I will not go in detail just in case you want to skip ahead if you know how to do this. Basically I'm going to put a bead of solder all on negative for this side. Just like so. Once you have that entire side soldered you're going to go ahead and start placing the wire and start weaving the wire in all the negative posts like so. Now for this right side I'll go in more detail and we're going to go ahead and do the opposite. We put hot glue on all the negative posts and now we're going to solder all the positive posts and leave a bead like so. This is pretty time consuming so just be prepared for that. Next we're going to go ahead and grab our wire and start soldering our wire and weaving it in back and forth. Just like so. This wire bends really easy and as long as you hot glued those negative posts you shouldn't come in contact and short out. I am sure that some of you can make this look a lot more prettier than I did, but this works just fine as well. And as long as that diffuser's on, no one's going to see it. So halfway done. I did encounter a problem where I had to rewire a positive post here. The solder would not hold on this positive post right there, so that's, that's no problem. Just wire it and then strand it together. Alright, so now we're going to grab our component base. And here I'm going to go ahead and add the mount. And then I'm going to go ahead and add where that 12 volt input is going to go. And we're going to go ahead and get that done. And here's what it looks like. Now I went ahead and hot glued the wires right here to kind of keep them where they're not loose and flying around. And I went ahead and put in the on off switch. I also went ahead and soldered the positive and the negative wires up here and added electrical tape because it's right next to the button I didn't want it to short. All right, so there's usually a nut that goes on the button, but it doesn't fit. So I went ahead and hot glued it and it holds really well. So next I'm gonna go ahead and solder the positive onto the switch. Next, I'm gonna grab the positive for the LED lights and going to go ahead and solder it on the second post. Next, I'm going to grab the negative wires and going to go ahead and solder them together. Just like so. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add electrical tape to protect the wire. Now I'm going to go ahead and plug in 12 volts and test 
Let's go ahead and see how many amps that this is going to take. This only takes three amps. Less, I'm going to put in all eight screws. Just like this. Now our LED light is completed. As you can see, it can be mounted. Now to do a couple tests. This test is without the diffuser. Now to test with the diffuser. As you can see, there's less of a shine with the diffuser on. Therefore, I think the diffuser works a lot better. This concludes my video. I hope you found it helpful. Just remember, down in the description below, I left all the parts and where you can get your own CR10. If you like to see more videos like this, please subscribe and thank you for watching.